So I just like high key completely space cadet and forgot to vlog yesterday. Today is Monday, so nothing happened on Sunday, I just worked. And I started working on I think on Sunday from the girl from everywhere. If I didn't start it, then I kept working on it. Um, but it's Monday. So I just finished this a couple hours ago. Um, and I was in the TBR and beyond group because Roshni Chotsky came in and did a chat, which by the way, she's freaking hilarious and I love her. Um, and then she meant to say Atlanta, but said Atlantis. And so she had an idea for a book and I now can't get the idea in my head of why don't we have like a new YA fantasy set in Atlantis? Or like Road to El Dorado, like why why don't we have this yet? So if you're a writer, get on it, cause I'll throw money at you for it. Um, I also am still working on A Breath of Snow and Ashes this morning. I read a little bit more before work, and I got to chapter 60, 61. I was gonna say sixty. Sixty-one, which is page two hundred and fifty-three, I believe. I think that's right, but <laughs> um, but uh, that's what I did reading wise. Um, and oof, I'm like trying to like clean my place up because I'm leaving on Friday for my conference. Um, this month has been like just disastrous in terms of trying to control what I can like accumulate in the month of books because like I literally ran out of space on the grid sheet in my like um fully booked agenda thing from Novel Companion and it's like 20 something lines long and I ran out so <laughs> stop it I had two pre-orders show up today um, or I guess not pre-orders technically um, so I had two books show up today at my bookstore that I ordered and one of them was White Stag by Cara Barbieri um, this was originally released on Wattpad, and I guess it was so popular that a publisher picked it up, which I kind of love that. Um, I did not realize until now, because I saw it and I was like, oh, that looks like the Patronus from Harry Potter. Th by the way, this book is not like Harry Potter. Um, it's dark, apparently. <laughs> it's supposed to be the first in a trilogy, um, but it's all shimmery, like the coating on it. Watson, why are you dancing? So I ordered it because my bookstore didn't have it, and... Um, so it came in. I'm really excited. She's going to be in the TBR and Beyond group next month in February. And then my pre-order showed up two weeks early. I don't know how that happened because I have a book that was in the same order that I placed that comes up tomorrow on Tuesday and it hasn't shipped yet. <laughs> but my copy of the, Four Dead or of the Dead Queen Club, not Four Dead Queens, of the Dead Queen Club came uh, by Hannah Kappen. It's like a contemporary Henry VIII retelling. And like I'm so excited for this. Oh, I know it's a contemporary, but it's Henry VIII. Like, I'm here for that. And then I also, because they randomly suddenly brought it in, I kept checking every time I went in. They didn't have it until today. They had Echo North in now, all of a sudden, by Joanna Ruth Meyer. And if you are Canadian, I think the sale goes till the 27th. Uh, today's the 20th or 21st um they have a bunch of YA YA pre-orders or like recently released books on sale for 30% off so Echo North was I think down to $17 instead of 25 and they had like Four Dead Queens Circle of Shadows um what other ones um Feather Crown of Feathers um basically every book I, I had pre-ordered for the next few months and <laughs> um, and I placed an order with five more that I was already going to buy. So I'm really happy with those. And I mean, like, I got five books in Canada for, like, $80 with taxes. Like, that's that's pretty good. Like, you're never going to get a better price for the most part with that. And I may or may not have placed an order on Book Outlet the other day. Maybe not, but I definitely did. I don't want to talk about it. Technically doesn't come in until February, though. So, well, hopefully. Um, but... Yeah, so this, oh. and I like, I had books that came in last week. I literally went to the bookstore like four days in a row last week to pick up orders. And they've literally, when I went in now, they told me, could you keep having your books ordered to the store for pickup, even when the shipping gets sorted out with Canada Post and Indigo? And I was like, I mean, I guess so. I don't like, because we've noticed since you started getting it delivered to the store for pickup, we've been getting more auto, like, purchased from corporate of YA books. And I was like, Oh, she's like, maybe it has nothing to do with it, but, like, we think it does. So I was like, 
all right, I guess so. But they actually know me now, first name basis there. Yeah, so that's how he sad. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did. I finished a girl from everywhere. Worked again a little bit more on Breath of Stone Ashes. I'm going to work again on that tomorrow morning. And then I'm debating either starting uh, East or Truth Witch. Maybe I'll do East because Truth Witch is a reread. So I'm okay if I don't. Oh, either then there's no time pressure on them really. No, yeah, I think I'm going to do East. No, maybe I'll do Truth Witch. Okay, I'll, I'll start one of them in the morning or tomorrow and we'll see how I feel. And... I'll do one or the other. Because um, I want to wait for our enemies until the end of the month. And yeah. That's, uh, I just have too much running around and like Destiny Soria is going to be in the TV Beyond group again tomorrow. Uh, so we have that interview, or not interview, like chat. So I just, it's hard to start re reading a physical book that has no audio book options for me to switch back and forth because I keep getting interrupted. So that's what I'm going to do. And um yeah, that's been my day, and I will chat with you all tomorrow. I think that's everything I have to say. Yeah, Rashni Chotsky's freaking adorable, and go pick up The Gilded Wolves if you haven't already, because, I mean, I love that book anyways. I did a review on it, but it's amazing, and it's out now. Hi, people. It is Tuesday night. Uh, I'm just putting the bookmark in and to bed now on Truth Witch. I started, that's why I ended up starting this morning, um, and I just ended up reading this instead of A Breath of Snow and Ashes, so um, this morning as well. So I have like maybe a third, probably less than that, left to finish tomorrow. And then what am I going to do then? Then I think I'm going to start East. Yeah, I think I'm going to start East. And then I think I, can, think I can get that finished. And then on, um, yeah, between Wednesday and Thursday. And then I think on Friday, I'll be able to keep working on A Breath of Snow and Ashes. And while well, I'm doing flying and everything, because I have a lot of flying and training and whatever the next week. Um, so I can listen to that and or um, read The Crowns of Croswell. That's a book I definitely need to get done this month. So that is where we're headed. And I've been cleaning my place because I have to leave it for a while. So I'd rather leave it clean. And that's what I've been doing. Nothing came in the mail today, thank God. But a bunch of books came out. Uh, Circle of Shadows came out today, and my pre-order of it shipped. And then Someday We Will Fly came out today, and my pre-order shipped. A Labyrinth of Skions and Sorcery came out today. Didn't pre-order it because it's insanely expensive. And I'm just going to keep an eye out for sales on it. And, yeah, a bunch, bunch of Song of the Dead came out today, too. Um, the Vanishing Stair came out today, but my pre-order came in last week. Um... Yeah, lots of good books came out today. Not like a large amount, like some Tuesdays, but like just a lot of good books. So I'm very excited about a lot of those. So if you haven't, go take a look at your bookstore and see if they have any. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Hello, people. It's Thursday night. Wow, I didn't realize how long my hair was until right now. Um, I started and actually just finished. I'm actually really proud of myself because I didn't think I was going to get it all done today. I was hoping, but then I wasn't sure. But I started and finished East today by Edith Patu. And I'm actually even more impre like, impressed because it's not a super fast-paced book. So I'd like... I'm just proud that I got it all done because it's like a four... Oops, no, maybe more... 500 page book and I read it and worked and got my packing done and oh I forgot to have to finish doing my laundry okay and I have to finish doing my laundry um so read this um I definitely forgot to vlog yesterday though so yesterday I finished truth witch um so that will bring my book total this week up to three um and I also realized too like a couple days ago that I forgot to include Artemis Fowl in the review video that I did last week I don't know no, I do know why, because I listened to it on audio and I didn't have a physical copy. And I forgot to put, like, a bookmark placeholder. So I will throw that in on the next review video that I do. Um, I also had my two pre-orders show up. Both of them, uh, these came out on Tuesday. Someday We Will Fly um, by Rachel Dewowskin. Dewa um, it's middle grade World War II set in Shanghai, which I don't think I've ever actually read a historical fiction, especially World War II, uh, set in really anywhere in Asia, if I'm honest. We tend to just think a lot about, like, Europe and getting POVs of people um, that were 
Holocaust survivors. So I'm kind of curious because this obviously like, you know, it spread to Japan with colonialism and then all that chaos. So I'm very curious to read that plus it's middle grade and middle grade's been like hardcore, like knocking it out of the park with the historical fictions. Um, and then my copy of Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Sky showed up. I'm so excited. I don't know when I'll get to this. Um, I just freaking love this cover. And yeah, and I did check. Both of them are just plain under the cover, so there's no special details or anything. Um, but yeah, I apologize in advance that whenever my January haul video comes out, it's going to be very long. Like, I think I'm up to 30 books, and like, I technically, I think my conference starts on the 31st. So if I pick up any arcs on the 31st, like, it's going to be, it's going to be a video. Um... That being said, I'm going to edit this video tonight now. It's Thursday uh, and scheduled to go up on Friday morning, so earlier than it normally does. Um, but I am heading to um, Ontario in the morning. So I also didn't have any time this week because we had two authors in the TBR and Beyond group. And then I've just been chaos picking up after myself because I worked like last weekend again too and just doing laundry and trying to clean the place up before I leave so I didn't have any time to like re pre-record any videos so there won't be a video on Sunday or this Tuesday yeah and then there won't be one on Friday but there should be one the following Sunday and it'll be like a catch-up um, and then we should be back to normal so basically February I'm gone until the end of the month and then um February should be backish to normal. I come back on a Saturday, so I will spend that Saturday and the Sunday catching up, and we should be all good to go, hopefully. Um, yeah, I just, I, I'm not going to bring my laptop with me. Um, I have lots of traveling that I'm doing. I'd rather just enjoy that time rather than, like, scramble around chaotically. And I'm seeing friends and family that I haven't seen in, like, a year plus. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to enjoy myself. And I, yeah, I will talk to you all later when I talk to you in like a week and a half-ish, probably. Let's say a week and a half-ish. And...